Hello, this is Christopher with Webby here. In this video, I will be demonstrating the inclusion of the tiny MCE editor within an MBC5 project based on, on a blog article written by Rion Williams. Rion has graciously allowed us to feature his article in this video, and you can see his article uh, on his blog located at this URL. Coming into Visual Studio 2015, I've already created an MBC5 project within here and added some of the files that we're going to be using. One of the things we do need to add in here is the TinyMCE editor functionality. To do that, we're going to come up to the project, do a right click, and we're going to add this using the NuGet. So we come into the NuGet package manager. And we need to come up to the search. We're going to type in tiny MCE. And there's the, uh, uh, there's the package. We should note that the, uh, the version is, uh, this is currently under version 4.x. Uh, it should be noted that uh, Rion's uh, example uh, that he used within his blog article was actually we're using version 3. And so some of the uh, some of the, the features and functionality has changed. So it would be best that you go ahead and look at the, the documentation of the tiny MCE editor uh, to to get more update to, you know, updated uh, information on the features uh, within version four. We're going to go ahead and click install, and we'll install all of the. Uh, Essentially, the tiny MC uh, framework, which is made up of a series of JavaScript and CSS files. Now, this has now been added, so we'll go ahead and close the, uh, the NuGet package manager down. And if we come down here to the uh, scripts folder, we see that we have a, a new uh, tiny MCE folder added in here, which contains uh, additional folders, but mainly the uh, tinymce.js file. Now, in terms of setting this up using uh, Rian's example within his blog article, we created a, uh, an example class over here. It's going to contain just uh, one property, HTML content. It does have an allow HTML attribute on here, so it won't be blocked uh, by uh, HTML encoding uh, built in to, uh, into the uh, uh, NBC view. We then created a controller. This is the, the home controller. Uh, we're going to have uh, an index method uh, that would just present the view. And then uh, a second index method, which is going to capture the, uh, the data coming out of the view. And then we're going to represent the data. Uh, but what we're going to do is we want to display essentially the text uh, that actually came from uh, our tiny MCE editor. Of course, we have to do this as a post operation, so that way it allows us to, to be able to capture the, uh, the data that was, uh, that was generated within the, uh, within the tiny MC editor uh, initially. Next, we look at the, uh, the view itself. And of course, we're, we're, using a, uh, we're using a view with a layout, so that way we can see the actual uh, code that we're really looking at here. In, in particular, uh, we have a text area 4. Um, this is going to use the, uh, the HTML content um, that's coming within our model, which is uh, example class, as is uh, indicated by the, uh, the model directive at the top of the file. And then we have a display 4, which is when we post, when we do the posting, it's going to bring the data back. But we're going to display this, and since uh, since HTML encoding is uh, enforced 
uh, automatically, we will actually see the actual text, which includes the uh, which includes the elements that we've produced within the uh, the Tiny MCE editor. Yeah. To help us process this, we're going to uh, use the script section down here. The first thing we're going to put in here, uh, coming back to the scripts folder, is we're going to come into the Tiny MCE uh, folder, and I'm going to drag uh, Tiny MCE down uh, the JavaScript file there. And then we're going to also drag in here the main.js file. Yeah, what we're going to put in main.js is just a simple uh, example of the uh, the tiny MC editor. So we'll come over here to main.js. We don't have anything contained in here at all. We're going to use uh, tiny mc dot init, and this just takes a uh, just a set of uh, set of data information. Just to keep this simple, put a semicolon here. I'm just going to use just one property, and that's the selector property, and we'll define it as text area. So what this is going to happen is when this is applied and initialized, then we will be applying the, the tiny MCE ed editor to any text area that we have within the uh, within the view. Well, of course, we're going to have one that we know of since we have the uh, the text area for method uh, already already defined. So in saving this. We can now go ahead and run uh, our application. So doing a control F5. So bring up our browser. And as you can see here, this is our home page uh, as defined by the uh, home controller in the index view. And there is our, uh, our tiny MCE editor. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, click in here. And let's just do uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, the lazy dog, and let's put some, uh, let's highlight certain things in here. So let's uh, highlight the uh, quick brown fox and make that italicized. And we're going to say over the lazy dog and make that bold. Then we can go ahead and now hit uh, create. And what that'll do is that'll now send it back to the uh, to uh, to the server, uh, process it, send it back uh, to this uh, to this view again or to the uh, to the next representation of this view. But it's going to have the posted text. So when I click on create, sure enough, here's the text. <clears throat> we have uh, an emphasis uh, uh, element or EM element around quick brown fox and a strong element surrounding over the lazy dog. So we see how the, uh, the bold and italicized uh, information or functionality has been, has been added within here. Also, we note the fact that this is all uh, uh, compartmentalized inside of a inside of a paragraph uh, within the uh, from the uh, from the editor itself. Now, as Rion had uh, mentioned in his article, there are plenty of other editors available that can also be incorporated within here. So, there's plenty of editors really available for us to be able to do. Uh, some of this uh, rich text uh, editing within uh, within our MVC applications. He also points out that it's not just MVC only. Uh, web form applications can also use use this as well. I hope this has uh, 
video has been very uh, useful in presenting the uh, the tiny MCA editor as a uh, as a tool within the uh, within the MVC application. For further blog articles uh, written by Rion, please take a look at his uh, his, his uh, blog located here at this website.